excited to be here tonight. This is great. Um, I love photographic collections. I love online content. I love community. Um, I work here. This is our Twitter feed. Um, and that's me. Not actually me, but <laughs> <laughs> that is a game that we play at Powerhouse, which is called Find Yourself in Flipper Commons. And that actually really is me, because I love Flipper Commons. And I love dogs, and I love photography. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, tonight I'm just going to talk really briefly, not too much about some of the things that have happened with Flip the Commons, but I'm just going to talk a little bit high level around strategy and why we do stuff with these collections, because it's really important to us. And really, having these collections available to the public really is about these things. It's about being accessible, it's about people using and sharing your content, meaningful content, responsive content and, and responsive to your audience, making sure that everything that we digitise is cross-platform, obviously on brand and on mission for your organisation. And we have a philosophy which is, you know, produce once and publish many across many platforms, but it has to be all about the audience and that platform has to be right for the audience. And it brings us to this concept of your website and the things that have happened to us at Powerhouse generally around photographic collections and sharing glass plate negatives have happened outside of our website. So they're, they're happening in web third party platforms. So it's, for us, it's collections of web presences and this is where you need, we all need to be thinking is not so much just isolating our stuff onto our own sites but thinking about where they're going to be now and in the future, and it's about a web presence. Um, and, and the question we ask all the time is why? Why would you, why do you want to connect with audience? Why do you want to make your content accessible and responsive? And, you know, it's not, it's not right just to put stuff out there and expect things to happen. You really need to ask that question because this, <laughs> the, this is our audience now, right? <laughs> this is why we're doing stuff because these people, these <laughs> miniature techno nerds, <laughs> are amazing. And, and, you know, generally, you know, that's not just young people. Um, so really it's about opening up our collections and I'm really passionate about this at Powerhouse because we've just seen some amazing things happen over the years and this is what our audience are doing, right? They're the citizen curators. There's no longer just a curator anymore, there's citizen curators. Um, and it's really about, sorry, I'm speed sliding. There's, it's gotta be about a two-way conversation when we make our content available. And we know that our audience really love telling and sharing stories, and this is really important with other audience members, but also with us. So understand your community, what is the experience that we wanna give make content accessible, usable, think beyond our sites, be participatory and responsive. Um, technology is only the tool. There is always a tech solution. It's about the content and the engagement. Experiment, fail and learn, provided that's within your realms of your organisation. And the really important thing for us in this space is partnerships. I'm really big on partnerships with what we do with our collections. The Commons, what an amazing platform and project. I mean, we were the first museum in the world to join and just, it has opened up our eyes and our collections to a way that we've never seen before. And one of the really important things is the geolocation of content according to um, latitude and longitude. So I'm just gonna to touch really, really briefly on some of the things that have happened. People have been doing Google Street View mashups with our content and then gifting that back to us. Um, People have been making augmented reality apps using our content. It links back to our website. It, you can download the image from Flickr. You know, this, this is not us making this stuff. This is other people, so people can get access to it. Um, but we're present. We're there. Um, this is Mitchell. Love it. Flickr Commons Explorer. Absolutely beautiful. Um, fantastic way of searching Flickr Commons. I'm sure you'll hear more about it. His work in a minute. Um, the ABC contacted us 500 metres up the road from the powerhouse. 
wanted to get asked off from Flicker Commons and we developed a good working relationship with ABC Innovation to do this project and a continuing conversation around what we should be doing with them. Then we got this call from Sepia Town who found that geo-located images were actually not that accurate and that's because we were doing it in Flickr and Yahoo Maps weren't that good. So they took all our geocoded images, mapped them better than we could map them, really, really precisely, and then gave us all that data back. Amazing. Bob Mead, are you here? Bob Mead? No, he's not here. Okay, citizen location identification. This guy, um, you found out where Northland Bay Falls was within half an hour of putting this online. And we've now continued to have fantastic conversations with him around our collections. History Bin, a platform that has come to us to share um, more stories, tours, and a memory of, 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 of our collections, and we're hopefully going to do a big project with them next year. That's our channel. Um, and this is just, I'm going to touch on a couple of beautiful stories that I find really moving. This is the Benevolent Society's image in History Bin. It's taken in Kunji, um, uh, and this is our image in History Bin where we didn't have any information really about this and it wasn't until we saw their image that we realised it was the asylum kids going down to the beach on the weekend. There you can see it. Aggregation of content, aggregation of collections. It's more meaningful to audiences when this happens. And this is my favourite story. Um, this is a photograph that we had online. Um, it was called, you can see down the bottom, Pioneer Settler. Um, not much information, um, very sort of minimal cataloguing and um, we were contacted by a um, the photo library was contacted by a descendant of the family and said oh you know I know this family but there were four children um, in this family and so I'm a little bit surprised that there's only three because they're all very young um, until wow. now <laughs> George wow. you go back now wow. right the chimney He's oh, leaving yeah. up yeah. on the back of the chimney. This is our audience identifying this. So we get to update our records. You get the picture. Uh, we've held, you know, meetups. This this idea of rewarding your audience through physical meetups I find really fascinating. Um, people going to great lengths to do then and now photography. Um, this guy went out several days to document the image on the right, which is where that photograph on the left was taken and then we asked him to share that story in our blog. People are remix our, re remixing our stuff. Um, so really, back to a bit of strategy, we really believe in just making it available. <coughs> Audiences will do amazing things. Um, you know, think audience before platform, tell strong stories with your content, allow others to tell really um, amazing stories with your content. Um, encourage this use and encourage conversations because it is so important to the future of the collections that we hold in cultural heritage. Thank you.